All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. Let's take a look at our subscription goal. We are sitting at almost 9,300. We need 700 more subs to hit that 10K goal to give that $1,000 giveaway. And then we have 12K subs coming up to send a couple people to some games of their choice. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Dennis Burns is at the top. We have Kellen on this week. He's doing a great job so far, but that is the leaderboard right now. If you see if you see your guys' name, reach out to us. Bears Profit plays at gmail.com or on Twitter, Bears Profit at Bears Profit. And we need to get you guys set up. So we can give you guys your picks out for the next couple of weeks. If you see your name, make sure you reach out. Also, if you want to become a member on our YouTube channel, we're going to be giving away $50 weekly to our members on YouTube. We have 15 to 20 right now. So if you become a member for just $4.99 a month, you have a chance to win $50 weekly. We're going to be doing that on our live show. We're going to put everybody on the wheel. We're going to spin it and give away $50 a week. So make sure you guys come check that out. Only $4.99 a month. Very cheap over there. And our plays are actually better over there as well. So guys, is going to do it. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Thursday, November 30th slate of games. Let's take a look at that leaderboard. Trey, starts off. Yeah, guys, at the moment, I am zero for zero. That's because my game's currently still going. I gave out Wichita State minus two and a half versus Richmond, and it is currently halftime in Wichita State. They're up by two points, times that two points by two for the second half. They are projecting a Wichita State four-point win and a cover. Yep, um, I had to... Try not to vomit while watching the North Carolina game in the first 15 minutes. They're currently up 61-39 to 39 at the half to Tennessee. Big difference in the game. Tennessee's made one three. North Carolina has seven. They have 16 free throws compared to Tennessee's four. So a lot of game left, 61-39, 22-point deficit. I've got them plus one and a half. I need a miracle in the second half, uh, but not looking great right now. Kellen, who'd you have tonight? <laughs> uh, yeah, I had the, the total in Virginia and Texas A&M, the under 126 and a half. And I, I think it starts at eight. I'm not going to watch it. I hate watching unders. It just makes me – it seems like they hit every shot. Yeah, I need to go – someone remind me after we get done recording so I can put that bet in to save my Tennessee bet. All right, let's move on to our plays for tomorrow. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I'm going to be attacking this UNC Wilmington at East Carolina game. And I think this is going to be a very entertaining game to watch. But I do think one team is head and shoulders the better team here. So give me UNC Wilmington here on the money line. They have, have a money line bet out here. So I'm just going to say minus one. But whenever it drops, I'm going to take them on the money line because I feel like they should easily be able to win this road game because Wilmington, they're ranked number nine in the mid-major top 25 poll. And that's because they've been playing some really good basketball this season. They entered this game with a 5-1 and one record. And they're also 2-0 and oh on the road this season. And in their last road game, they went to Florida Gulf Coast and absolutely dominated that game, winning that game by 16 points. And I do expect something similar in this game versus East Carolina because East Carolina, they're an all right team, but they're nothing really special. And they entered this game with a four and three record and they are four and two at home this season, but they did lose in their previous game versus George Mason. In that game, they lost by a whopping 22 points. So Wilmington in their last game won by 16 and East Carolina in their last game lost by 22. And whenever we factor in that Wilmington, they're just easily the better team in my opinion and undefeated on the road this season. It gives me a lot of confidence in this pick. So give me UNC Wilmington here on the money line versus East Carolina. I like it, Trey. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at Texas Tech going up against Butler. I'm going to trust Butler Bulldogs again to win this game on the money line against Texas Tech. I gave out Butler a couple days ago. I'm just going to go right back to him here. This will be the first true road game for Texas Tech, and I think that's usually the most difficult game for programs early in the season. We are used to seeing Butler play really good defense and not be able to score, but that's not been the case this year because they are scoring an average of 111.4 points per 100 possessions. Texas Tech has been shooting very poorly this season, barely being over 41% from the field. And the Butler defense has been great, holding opponents to just 38% shooting this year. Butler's also 3-0 this season on their home court, winning all three of those games by 35-plus points. They've also rattled off back-to-back -back big wins against Penn State and Boise State. And I think they're going to give Texas Tech a lot of trouble in this game. Give me the Butler Bulldogs on the money line. I think this spread is way too low, way, way, way too low for Butler at minus one. So I'm just going to take them on the money line and cash that play. Kellen, what do you like? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, Florida Atlantic. Um, they're at home against Liberty. Uh, Liberty's coming in undefeated, but they really haven't beat anybody. I guess they beat Wichita State. Uh, the only reason I mentioned that is because Trey likes them. Um, <laughs> and I faded FAU both times they've lost, and I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to go with FAU. I like it. I like it. FAU, really, really good scoring team there, so I do like to play there. Trey, let's go to the player prop stars off. Both of those teams are high scoring. I think Florida Atlantic with the defense is going to be the difference maker there. So I love that play, Kellen. And then uh, yesterday I gave out Kyle Filipowski to go over 27 and a half PRAs versus Arkansas. It's a pretty late game. I think 8.30 tip off central time. So it has not started yet. But I think Filipowski will be flipping in some buckets. Uh, yeah, luckily I'm going to go to 1-0 hopefully. I have Dalton Connect go over 15 and a half points going against North Carolina. They've got 39 points and a half. He's got 15 of them. So we just need one point in the second half. Um, 
for the short two round Tennessee. So hopefully we can get that one and go to one and zero. Trey, let's take a look at the points for tomorrow. Starts off. If you jinxed yourself there, I don't know what to tell you. But for today, I'm going to be going with Ryan Kalkbrenner here to go over his points versus Oklahoma State. I really love this over for Kalkbrenner in this game because he's really enjoyed a great season for the Blue Jays so far. And I expect that to continue here in this game. That's because Kalkbrenner, he is simply a massive human being. He checks in at seven foot one, 270 pounds. That is definitely a load right there, guys. And through the first six games of the season, Kalkbrenner, he's only averaging 28 minutes per game. But he still turned that to a 15.3 point per game average. And I think Kalkbrenner is going to push that to 20 plus here in this game versus Oklahoma State because it's honestly a pretty good matchup here versus the Cowboys because this Creighton team, they're absolutely massive. They're small forward, power forward, and center with Kalkbrenner checking at six foot seven, six foot 10, and seven foot one. Kalkbrenner, I think he's going to be able to take advantage with all that trees down there because Oklahoma State's front court is not big at all. They're six foot five, six foot eight, and six foot 11. And those six foot eight and six foot 11 guys, they are true freshmen. So I think that the experienced center with Kalkbrenner being a three-year starter and a senior here, I think he's going to be able to cook them throughout this game. Kalkbrenner, he is just going to be head and shoulders the best matchup in the post there for Creighton. So give me Ryan Kalkbrenner to go over his points versus Oklahoma State. I like it. And I saw that line was set pretty low, so it looks like they think that's going to be a competitive game. So I, I do like the play there, Trey. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at a Butler Bulldog. Give me Pierre Brooks again to go over his total points against Texas Tech. I've already talked about Pierre Brooks this season. He has been maybe the best scorer in all of college basketball over the last week. In both games against Penn State and Boise State, he started a little bit slow, but he scored 26 points against Penn State, 25 points against Boise State. On the season, he's averaging 16.7 points per game, which leads the team, and he leads this team in minutes per game, sitting at 32 per game. He is a dead eye from the outside, shooting 41% from three and nearly 50% altogether from the field. The Texas Tech defense, they are good, but they already gave up 70 points in Northern Iowa and 85 points to Villanova in two of the last three games they played. I think they give up at least 70 points here to Butler. They've been scoring the ball really well. Well, I like Pierre Brooks to at least score 20 points in this game and go over whatever the number comes out. I think it's been now 13 and a half, 14 and a half over the last couple of games. So hopefully we get that at 14 and a half. Uh, Kellen, what do you like today? Uh, yeah, Barry, I was going to go with the same one. Uh, I like him too uh, to go over Ooh. his over on points. Um, right. So I like it. I like it. Riding with me. Let's do it. Uh, Trey, graphic. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm going with UNC Wilmington here on the money line versus East Carolina. I feel like they're the better team. I'm not scared that it is a road game because Wilmington, they're undefeated on the road this season. I'm also going with Ryan Kalkbrenner to go over his points versus Oklahoma State. I feel like he's going to be able to eat alive on the interior throughout this game. Yep, yeah, but I'm going with the Bulldogs in the minor against Texas Tech. Texas Tech has good defense, but Butler's been playing really well this season. I've got Pierre Brooks over his points against Texas Tech. He's been great. 26 points against Penn, 25 points against Boise State. I think he gets 20-plus points again in this game. Guys, that's going to do it for NCAA Basketball Plays and Cross for Thursday, November 30th, Slate of Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 